Happy Thursday, Saints. Welcome back to the Halo Morning Show. We're coming to you live from the Halo Newsroom. With your news and your stories. There will be an eSports meeting right after school tomorrow. It's at 1230 in Mr. Du Bois's room, and it is a live Q&A with the Senior Director of the Overwatch League. It's an awesome opportunity for anybody who wants to ask questions about eSports in general and to ask about what it's like to work in the video game industry. Everyone is welcome, and we hope as many people show up as they can. If you are running crew for Christmas play, please come to the theater as soon as possible after school today for a meeting. This includes all crew members with the exception of makeup and hair, ushers, and ticket sales. All crew members should report to the theater at 3.05 today. Please bring your scripts if you have them, and if you don't have them, please bring a three-ring binder. Congratulations to both freshman teams last night as they swept Bishop Miege. The Varsity Boys are back in action tonight at 7 p.m. in the semifinals of the Liberty North Invitational Park against Park Hill. Check our social media and website for a link to watch the game. Any students interested in entering an engineering model bridge building contest, see Coach Hetzel in room 150 by Friday for the information. The boys basketball team opened up their season with a 51-43 win in the opening round of the Liberty North Invitational. Keyshawn Mason and Zaria Navy both scored in double figures while Philip Bell and Will Gavin chipped in eight points each. The Saints will play Park Hill on Thursday at 7 p.m. in the semifinals. Anyone who wants to purchase a Holiday Saints t-shirt can do so in the comments during lunch. T-shirts are $20, so you can pay for them in the Spirit Shop with cash or card. All proceeds with the benefit of the Nativity House local Catholic charities, and you can wear this shirt this Friday during school for a Spirit Day and December 20th at the St. James game. Attendance exam waivers will be passed out during lunch on Monday, December 16th. To earn an exam waiver, you must not miss more than two days, which is eight block periods. Part days and single blocks miss do count and are added into the total. Everything counts against the exam waiver, illness, doctor's appointments, out of town, surgery, etc. If you earned your exam waiver but have outstanding fines, money owned, detentions, unverified college visits, equipment outstanding, etc., your waiver will be held until you take care of business. So take care of business before Monday. You, will have, you must have at least an 86% in the class you wish to use your attendance exam waiver for. The waiver has to be turned in to your exam teacher prior to the exam. Want to see your pick with Santa? Go to the school website and look under the link under About Us. Lost and found items will be placed on the common stage today from 9.30 to 2 p.m. If you have lost items during the school year, please stop by and take your items that are yours. Any items remaining at the end of this week will be donated to Turnstiles. This week only, there will be additional detention times to give students plenty of opportunities to get their detention served before finals. Detention will be offered before and after school each day. Morning detention begins at 7.15 and after school detention begins at 3.10. Detention is held in room 147. Again, these additional times are for this week only. On today's menu for the Saints Cafe is tamales, lime rice, beans, churros, and boscos. Today is the Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Mary's appearance to Juan Diego as one of his people is a powerful reminder that Mary, and the God who sent her, accepts all peoples. Now it's time for the fun fact of the day. Today is National Gingerbread House Day. Oh, interesting. Thanks for watching today's show. I'm Greta. And I'm Emma. Signing, signing off. off. Remember, stay classy, saints. And make this day count.